And we are underway from SoFi Stadium. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They're brought out by a man now in his 15th NFL season, one of the most productive passers in league history, and a former Super Bowl champion, Matthew Stafford. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. Dancing away at the 35. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Here's Stafford. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So pass interference, the call, that's going to set him up with a first down. And if it's a bang-bang play, maybe the flag stays in the official's pocket, but instead, he definitely impeded the receiver's right to catch the football. The official's letting the players know how the game's going to be called here in the first quarter. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Now a play fake, and it's Stafford. And that one to the right side and incomplete. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Second and 10. Throwing a Stafford. That's caught left side. It's Higby, the tight end. Breaks through the contact. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 25-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. And every time you step on a field, coaches are always going to talk about how important tackling is in a ball game. In this one, especially so. You can't allow these guys to break free and get extra yards after contact, but that's exactly what happens here. That can't continue as this game goes on. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Now second and nine. To the air again, Stafford. Quick throw, that's complete on the inside slam. A gain of eight there on the play, and that will bring up third and one. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route. 
and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. It's opening drive, and they're now two for two on third down conversions. And let's face it, anytime we talk to any coaching staff, heck, players, they always talk about winning third down, how important that is, the deciding factor in winning a football game, and they're off to a really nice start. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And that's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Ball on the eight, it's second and four. They run it again with Williams. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Kyra Williams, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Rams will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts the defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7-0 game. Kick this one away, and off it goes. On the return, here's Shahid. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. So here come the Saints now for their first drive. They'll be led out by one of the most productive QBs in the last decade. It's year 10 for the Fresno Stater now. Here's Derek Carr. The secret to his game and his success, incredible chemistry with each and every one of the guys he catches passes with it. And not only does he ask them to stay after practice or meet him before practice, he actually demands it because he knows if they have that kind of chemistry built up, they'll be hard to beat each and every ball game. Credited with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. to throw his car. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. It'll be a gain of five. And now it's third and four. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot. And they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. On second down, Kamara. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Shotgun now for Carr. And he is caught. 
taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. Feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that. I'm continuing to let him throw the football. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And that is first incompletion after a 4-for-4 four four start. Yeah, but they should back off from what they're doing. I like the play calling right out of the gate. I like the tone that they're setting. Keep going in that direction. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. They'll look to throw. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Play action. Now it's Carr. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Boy, that ball's just hanging up there, waiting to be intercepted. That looked doomed from the start, but they took the deep shot anyway, and fortunately, it winds up incomplete. Now here's Lou Headley now. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So the Rams coming back out of the field, their second drive of the game. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Back to throw, Stafford. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Again from the 20 after the incompletion. Here's second and 10. Stafford. That'll be caught. It's caught. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain of 28 yards there and give them a first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Now a second and ten. Stafford looks to throw again. He's airing it out for Williams. And he's got it inside the ten. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A big play there for L.A. 47 yards. What a first quarter he's been putting together. He scored the touchdown earlier, and he's in phase right out of the gate. Right now, he's playing with such confidence, he doesn't believe that they have an answer for him no matter what they do on defense. And here's another big play to prove his point. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Williams he is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back who can create his own space, who can break tackles, and in a sense, become his own blocker. We don't have that guy in the game right now. To throw on second down to Stafford. And he's got it. That's cut for a Ram touchdown. Four yards 
on the touchdown grab. And the Rams have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Well, they have to be loving this start to the first quarter. Well, the way that they're going, I mean, you're talking about two touchdown drives already. They feel very confident and feel like they have all the answers in this game. They're one point away from going up 14 to nothing. Maybe they press the advantage and go for two. Now the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So the drive there took six plays, and it ends with Cooper Cup on the receiving end of the touchdown pass. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shahid. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. On first down, Carr. And he's going to go down. Back in his own five a sack. Aaron Donald with a sack. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. From the gun, it's Carr. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. And this drive was almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Carr going to throw. A loss of three on a sack made by multiple defenders. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall. And they can put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. The punt team on now is from their end zone. They get it away. They'll take it a few steps in front of the 50. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Rams are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball. So they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they almost push them to the break, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. Final 30 seconds of this first quarter, and it's been a quarter dominated by the guys with the football. On first down at Stafford. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration of the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Stafford. A quick pass to Cup. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. 
And he'll get nothing there. Stopped right at the line as that will wind us down to the end of this first quarter of play. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it looking at a fourth down and two. And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. So three points there, and they continue to build this first half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps. And the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. kickoff team on the field and here we go with the ball in the air and here comes a return from just beyond the goal line and the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. the saints offense now they get ready to head back onto the field still in the first half but this offense has struggled haven't really been able to get anything going not only in the points category but in the yards category we'll see if they can do better here on this drive Kamara with a first down run, but he's unable to get back to the line of scrimmage as the push up field is strong defensively. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Carr. He'll get this one underneath to Kamara. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. The offense on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and seven. To throw, it's Carr. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far, offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And out will come the offense as they take over. Now the Rams offense getting the football back. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try and increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Now we give up the middle to Williams. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. Deep for New Orleans is Rashid Shaheed. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. Throwing on first down is Carr. He'll find Shahid out to the right. 
And they work this well upfield across the 45. That goes for a gain of 31. Ah, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. From the gun, it's a run for Camaro. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? On play action, now Carr. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. How to approach this. Third down and 16 yards to go. Now Carr. Trying to lay one up deep. And unable to connect. Incomplete. But give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak. And while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close. But the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. They begin the drive with Williams. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain? Or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Oh, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. A well, much-needed boost defensively there. I mean, that really one of the first things that's gone right for him in this first half. No question about it, partner. We've seen this before. You've got an offense that doesn't have any points yet. Go out and make a play on D. Then you head back to the sideline saying, we got you the football back. Now let's see what you can do with it. The New Orleans offense set to take over. And they'll start with great field position, trying to get back into this one. It's first and ten here. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And they're knocking on the door now. Has a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. And that one good for 16, and the drive will continue. First play of the drive, excellent run. Just sets up wash, rinse, repeat. Another first down. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Again, it's Kamara. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. 
Well, another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating it. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in, your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. It's a gain of maybe three, but it's going to leave them with still about eight or nine to go on third down. Car. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. It'll be a sack and a loss of three, but more importantly, it brings up fourth down. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, They've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. Well, still some climbing left to do to get back to even, but forcing a turnover and getting the field goal there, that's a small step toward erasing the early deficit. Absolutely. That interception field goal, that's the beginning of what they hope will be several steps towards erasing that deficit and building a lead of their own by the time this game is over. So after the field goal, back out is Groupie to send this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here's Kyron Williams running out for another possession. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. Second and a couple. Now a play fake it at Stafford. And that one complete downfield to Cup. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A game there of 30 big ones. This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way. And they continue to move the ball downfield. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. That's into the hands of 2-2 Atwell. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 10 more there and another first down. Was that a design pass or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Play action, Stafford. And that'll be caught by Cup, and he takes it down to the 10-yard line. That'll put him over 100 yards receiving now here in this first half of action. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. On first and 10, Stafford. Stafford fighting Cooper Cup for the touchdown there. And the Rams take a three touchdown lead. What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, CD. 
Brandon, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. Well, let's face it, he's off to a tremendous start. So 200 yards, four touchdowns. I don't think anything's out of the question right now. He's blowing up coverages. You've got to double him every snap. Otherwise, he's going to defeat you on almost every play. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Saints again ready to go on offense. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. And that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. And this offense on third down today, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and nine. That is caught. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Carr again here on second and ten. He gets it complete to A.T. Perry. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 27-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now Carr. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. And his throw is incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Again, they'll throw with Carr. throw right side here going to be incomplete. The L.A. defense up the snuff in coverage there. Pushes this to fourth down. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. So Carr departs and on his plate groupie for the Saints field goal. 
He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. And his kick here is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit him, partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was in high school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level you hit them, they go through. So after the field goal, back out is Groupie to send this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Get a look at this offense led by Cooper Cup as they make their way back onto the field. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. Especially with a touchdown. <laughs> yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of players. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. Second and five. Here's Stafford. Throw right side, going to be caught by Higby. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 16 yards is the pickup there, and a first down for L.A. From the 50, it's Stafford. He'll get this one to Cup complete. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. From the 43, it's second and three. Again, at Stafford. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So this lead, Charles, is continuing to swell here in the first half. Well, it's interesting. When we talked to them prior to the game, they told us that their game plan was take no prisoners. And they've lived up to it so far because everything has worked. No guarantee that'll continue. But all in all, this coach's staff's got to be very pleased by what they've seen. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you two in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports halftime report. We saw a vintage first half from the veteran Matthew Stafford. He fired his guys into the lead with two first half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. 
All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and two. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. Broken tackle, and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Car now on first down. There's Chris Olave. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 43-yard line. Kamara up the middle. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. It's a six-yard run, leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have your guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center that knows, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. From the gun, it's Carr. That'll be taken in by Shahid. And he's taken down inside the 30. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. Jet sweep, here's Olave. Oh, and this one, that may need to go back to the drawing board. He's gonna be swallowed up right away. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've gotta imagine he's thinking, guys, you gotta help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Now Carr throwing on second down. His throw incomplete. Chris Olave, the intended receiver, but now it'll be third down. Now Carr. Second back right around the 41-yard line. 
Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. On first down, Stafford here. Quick throw on the slant, but that's behind his man and incomplete. They always say that real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, timing, timing, timing. Can't be able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there, threw it behind him. Here's second and 10. Stafford. Connecting with Cup here on the out route. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who could not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Boy, a big play right there. I mean, a touchdown on this drive could have really put some separation on the scoreboard. Instead, it's the defense who scores. And partner, we got a game again. And we do have one because of what you just described. A defense that understood what was going on in this game and did something about it. They knew their offense needed some help. They just provided it. They're back in this one. The point after, good by Groupie. And the lead will be cut down to 14. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And he returns this to the 22. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 22. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. That's caught. It's 2-2 Atwell. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Now it's Stafford. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. <laughs> Up the middle, it's Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. Here's third and six. Throwing is Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot, it'll be fourth and inches. 
but it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Here comes the Rams punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And Frank, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Here's a second and five. Working from the gun, it's Carr. That's a lob, and bringing in another one. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. That connection seemed to work out okay on the first play of the drive. Why not go right back to it? And once again, this defense is left without an answer as they surrender back-to-back -back first downs. Car now on first down. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. A tenth carry for Camara. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Seven yards there and a first down. Shotgun now for Carr. Complete to Olave on the out route. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. That's good. The completion there for seven yards at its second down. Carr. And this one taken in by Alave. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And they'll fake the jet sweep there, and instead hand to Camara. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Sometimes I think cornerbacks can benefit from the fact that quarterbacks might just forget about the idea that they might be near the line of scrimmage. How about the anticipation there sneaking in and making a big play in the backfield? And the Rams defense gets to him again behind the line of scrimmage. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. That defensive front four has been very good. They have just not let the running game get going, have they? Not at all. In fact, the entire offense just looking a little bit out of sync in this one. Yeah, sometimes this is why coaches like four down defensive linemen. They feel like they can cover more ground when defending the run. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. And this defense definitely in his head there on third down, and he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call for grounding on this one. That was a good 10 feet over everyone's head. Here comes the Saints punter now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. That'll be out of bounds, and how good was that? They'll say the three-yard line. That's where they spot it. The football going back to the Rams now. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive. Is they, they score here, especially a touchdown, it's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, 
feel like you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? On second down, Williams. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. If this defense wants to stay in this ball game, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do. And right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try and make some plays in their backfield. On third down, here's Williams. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. Trying to find some space to operate. And now they'll have it a gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. Obviously an important run to avoid the three and out on your own side of the field. Shows a lot of faith in that offensive unit, doesn't it? That you want to run the ball in that situation. Pick up the first down. Also helps out your defensive guys a little bit, too. Allows them to get at least one more series of downs in order to get some rest. And now they have a little more space to maneuver from the 15 first and 10. Stafford. And quick throw here. That's complete. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. Gets by him at the 25. And he's going to have the Rams first down as the tackle made just shy of the 30. going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Los Angeles. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be third down. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Looking for Cooper Cup again, two in a row. And he is going to have a Rams first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. But well, we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. Stafford on first down. Now that'll be caught by Cup. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Play action, Stafford. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive, but right now they need five yards on this third down try. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them, because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, 
really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. They begin on the ground with Kamara, and he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And now a hook up downfield on second down. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A game there of 30 big ones. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Here's Carr to throw. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. Back to throw. Open man left side, Shahid has it. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 21. A really nice pickup of 14 yards and it moves the sticks. Car to throw again. And his throw here is incomplete. From the 21, it's second and 10. Trying the left side with Camara. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They run it again with Kamara. How about this defense? For a third straight play, he's going nowhere. And a loss of three to bring up four. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. So Carr departs and on is Blake Groupie for the Saints field goal. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So he remains perfect, three for three in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now you know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. So after the field goal, back out his groupie to send this one away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down.
Back to throw. Stafford to the right side and complete to Atwell. A six-yard pass on back-to-back -back plays. Picks up the first. Stafford now to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And from the 42 now, here's second and two. Now whistles and a flag down. I think one of the Rams linemen might have moved. Well, maybe he was going to be involved in that play from his tight end spot and he jumped. Yeah, don't tell me that those guys don't like to block. That's what we say about them nowadays in the NFL. But I think he thought he was one of the key pieces in that play and wanted to get out and execute the assignment very fast. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Here's Stafford. And that's caught inside the 35. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. 33 yards that time. And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Off of play action. Here's Stafford. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. They go back to the ground with Williams. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Stafford throwing quickly, complete out wide. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Here's Stafford. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Davis Allen from 10 yards out. And the Rams have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. You got to figure it out by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point right down the middle, and the lead is up to 18 now. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown.
the Rams kickoff team on the field and here we go with the ball in the air on the return here's Shahid and his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line the Saints coming out now to take the field we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing CD but unfortunately the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. So he stopped for no gain. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, Catch was made, put down right on the spot. He's got a man complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Much more room to operate under after the big play. Here's first and 10. Carr going to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Again, it's Carr. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Throwing on first down is Carr. The pass caught by Alave. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the Rams' 29-yard line. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Again, they'll throw with Carr. It gets this complete to Shahid. And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And they're going to speed things up here. Carr now on first down. And this is caught at the eight. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. This will be caught at about the six. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Let's go, fellas. 
So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Now Carr. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Play action, now it's Carr. And oh, that's gonna wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Now Carr, gotta have this one. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up. But he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. So it's the Rams here that take home the W. And this one, Charles, and too much Matthew Stafford. Yeah, he really threw the ball well, didn't he? Well over 300 yards passing, hit on three touchdown passes, and is delivering the ball in rhythm all game long. 